Hello everyone, welcome to Vixterot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. So today I wanted to do another quick little collective check-in for your person in regards to their thoughts right now and what's going on with them specifically at this time. So we're going to do another Celtic cross for the collective to see what messages want to come through for you guys and what is really just going on with your person at this time. So quick little check in, just felt like I wanted to tune in today. So let's see. We're using the Cat Tarot, by the way, so this beautiful Cat Tarot deck for today. So let's see what wants to come through. So calling in the collective's energy, please spirit, calling in the collective and aligning with the person that's on their mind right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's tap into this. Let's see what is the heart of the matter, please spirit. What is the heart of the matter for the person, the lovers, all right, wow, beautiful, beautiful, so the lovers card coming through, um, your union, your connection is really the heart of the matter, so your person is currently thinking hard about the connection with you, your union, your relationship, um, how to come together with you, but also how to facilitate a smooth transition towards intimacy, towards greater intimacy between the two of you here, towards loyalty, towards being together, towards connection. They feel a great, great love for you, love that transcends reason and just transcends their life in general. So I feel like they, they just love basking in this love between the two of you right now. Um, and they just enjoy tapping into you, tapping into your love. So let's see what else we can get here. What is the obstacle, please, Spirit? So what is the obstacle here? The King of Swords. Okay, so their mind. Um, their mind is literally the obstacle right now. Them thinking about this connection very, very strongly. Them trying to figure out this connection. Okay, so this person, what they want to do is they really want to figure out what is going on here between the two of you. What What is the gist here, you know? what What's the issue here? Why do they feel so strongly towards you? I feel like with the King of Swords, they're really rationally trying to figure everything out. But as said before, this energy, your connection is something that deeply transcends reason. It's something that can be felt. It's something that can just be known by the mind. You can know it to a certain extent, but I feel like your person is figuring out just the extent to which they can mentally grasp this and mentally understand this connection right now. So let's see. Um, what is the conscious influence here, please, Spirit? The conscious influence is the seven of swords okay so them not really showing you fully how they're feeling and how they're thinking then them keeping things to themselves with the seven of swords here and what's the unconscious influence thank you the unconscious influence is the eight of swords okay so the unconscious influence is really trying to protect themselves and shielding themselves from this love, while the conscious influence is like a similar energy, but just in a different way, not telling you everything, not showing you everything that's really going on with them at this time. I'm just going to bring this a bit down. This person is deeply in their mind right now is what I'm feeling. Um, so let's see, what about the past is influencing this, the Knight of Cups? So there was a past influence or just a past situation that your person has been in, in which they were a little bit too enthusiastic, a little bit too into it, a little bit too um, idealistic, a little bit too romantic. And I feel like they might have gotten their heart broken or things just didn't work out the way that they wanted them to uh, with the Knight of Cups here. They were too in it like too in the relationship too fast. They went too fast into the relationship. Um, maybe, you know, had like these assumptions that were very romantic, very idealistic, very lovely, very open. And maybe they opened them themselves up too strongly, too quickly and got their heart broken here. So I feel like they're trying to just tread lightly right now and just be in their own mind, like be in 
their mind about this whole situation so that they don't again repeat the same things from the past here what about the future what are they seeing in the future right now spirit how are they viewing the future so we have two cards showing up the nine of pentacles showing up for the future as the first card and we have ooh, we have the seven of cups showing up there is also the empress here on the bottom of the deck so for the future, this person is going to offer you things. They are going to step up more in the physical. They're trying to bring a sense of fulfillment or they are going to try to bring a sense of fulfillment to this connection. But at the same time, they feel like the future is currently a little bit unpredictable. They can't fully situate themselves in this relationship like where do they want to stand with you they are a little bit confused like where do i go from here what do i want here it's just this confusing area of what do i even want and where do i even land with this person right now um they have a lot of different ways that they could contact you or direct themselves towards you many different relationships that they could also opt into with you so i feel like they're overall confused about which bowl to eat out of what type of relationship should they have with you or what type of relationship is comfortable um to have with you what 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 should they do it's it's a bit of confusion that's in their mind right now like where should i go from here what should i do from here i definitely want to connect to them so a person here like with the nine of pentacles they definitely want to connect to you they want to approach you they want to give you things they want to offer you things they want to bring fulfillment into your life so they definitely want to give things to you and offer you things like may maybe especially gift giving um i feel like gift giving is a love language that your person has but also like they're confused like what what exactly is this relationship where exactly am i standing with this person so so there's a huge confusion around okay what type of relationship is our relationships even and that is something that is you know present with the lovers because it's just you feel a strong sense of love a strong sense of unity with your person a strong sense of appreciation but then you know that doesn't necessarily fit into the models of society and the models of relationships that have been set up within society it's something that really transcends societal expectations and societal models of relationships so that's where the confusion i feel like comes in for your person so let's see their attitude and state of mind right now very loving overall because with the lovers you know with the lovers is the state of the matter so they feel very lovely towards you open joyful they feel this warmth resonating between the two of you and within your connection so their attitude and state of mind right now the sun yes like literally feeling the love literally basking within the love of this connection within the love of this relationships relationship really really deeply enjoying the harmony the serenity the awareness of love that exists between the two of you so this person i feel like they know the love exists between the two of you they know the appreciation exists between the two of you but when it comes to like acting on certain things they get into their head a lot so let's see their environment what is their environment like right now spirit please for group number for group number <laughs> for the collective wow i'm so used to saying groups it just is it becomes the autopilot for me so what's their environment right now for the collective please okay so indecision indecisive environment trying to figure out what exactly to do about the future there's a feeling of aligning with certainty and there's a feeling of like the answer is right around the corner here but it's not yet fully in their grasp with the two of swords here reversed it's like i i kind of know where i have to go but i'm not fully sure yet that type of energy what are their hopes and fears please for that oh oh yeah yeah hopes and fears like all in one card the two of cups so the hope is aligning with you in love and having a romantic connection with you the fear is aligning with you in love and having a romantic connection with you so yeah this deep feeling of being together with you it it is both a hope a blessing and their biggest fear because they are again you know prone to being vulnerable if they do align with that 
energy. Um, but yeah, they want it. They want it and it's something that they desire with all their heart. And I so love this spread, like the two of cups, the lovers. Like this person deeply, deeply loves you and they feel like you're their person and you're their soulmate and you're the one for them. And then they get into their head here um, and they just feel like they're, they, they need to be a bit standoffish and just be suspicious, you know, with the seven of swords here, there's that suspicious energy. I can't share everything with them. I shouldn't possibly share everything with them. What if it backfires on me? You know, just really getting in their head around this and like the thoughts really holding them back from actually doing anything here. Just, you know, being in their head and daydreaming a lot with the seven of cups. So what's the outcome here? So what is the outcome from this person's perspective right now, please, Spirit. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the outcome is we will see what happens. I'm going to hope for the best and I'm going to see what happens here. So I just saw 11.11 on the clock, you guys. Yeah, just the Wheel of Fortune being like, yeah, like, let's leave it up to fate. This person's like, I'm going to just leave it up to fate. Let's let's just get one more card for this one. Can we clarify the Wheel of Fortune? Just can we get a bit more information on this, please, Spirit? Thank you. We have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so tentatively and slowly beginning something. Slowly starting to explore this connection. And slowly, slowly, practically within the physical world, going forward and seeing what happens. Slowly, like giving your hand towards the person, you know, and being like, okay, what's going to happen? You know, are they going to bite me? Are they going to lick me? What's going to happen here? So slowly, tentatively exploring this relationship. We have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there is this fear of heartbreak, fear of loss. Feel of, fear of, you know, being vulnerable and having it backfire on them and being hurt and being heartbroken all over again. So that is just a big fear that your person has that I feel like you guys really need to be aware of here. And yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like leaving it up to fate, you know, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be focused on the positive, focused on the best. I know the best outcome is going to align with both of us. So that's like your person's thought pattern. I'm going to slowly see what I can do. Like slowly, I'm going to direct myself towards them. I'm just slowly going to start to explore this connection between the two of us, but like slowly. This is the pentacle energy. So this is a very, very slow moving energy. This is, you know, practical, slow forward movement while at the same time being like, okay, let's see what the universe throws at me, how you interact, how you watching this interact with this person, you know, I'm just going to see where things take me. So that's their thought process that I'm tapping into, All right? Still suspicious, still being like, oh, what's going on here? But ultimately just loving the energy that exists between the two of you, loving you, loving your interactions, just adoring you so much, All right? So in terms of signs, what is coming through here is we have air, so Gemini energy also with the lovers, but also Aquarius energy, and we do have um, Libra energy here also. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, here Leo energy with the sun, and um, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus here with the Page of Pentacles. Also a little bit of Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune, like that luck and adventure that is on the horizon, but not too much, you know, just, just that sense of expansiveness and allowing things to come about with the Jupiterian energy with the Wheel of Fortune over here. Okay, so let's go forward and just get you guys some guidance now. So what does Spirit want you to align with? So we're going to use the spell casting to just see what wants to come through for you. So Spirit, please, for the collective, what's the guidance here? Okay, so we have strength, right? So the card that is showing up for you is strength. Spirit wants to align you with um, purity, with vulnerability with a sense of trust and a sense of tapping into your inner strength again, your ability to overcome things. What is coming through with strength here is also that you are quite a sensitive person. We have Leo and Libra energy again with this one. And because of 
your sensitive nature here, you've possibly been misunderstood. Maybe your person misunderstood you in some sense within this connection as well. So what Spirit wants to align you with is an understanding that you're stronger than you realize, that you need to believe in yourself and believe in this connection because this connection feels like it's really fated and it is divine. With the lovers, with the two of cups there, it is a divine connection, okay? So it's time to release the roaring lion within and let others know you mean business if you mean business or whatever you want your business to be. Um, Spirit is also aligning you right now with rapid growth, all right? So within that, there comes an understanding of, you know, rapid growth being accompanied with a lot of emotional or mental upheavals, a lot of issues like things coming up to be healed, to be looked at. So Spirit wants you to literally draw strength from the knowledge that in order to heal and become strong again, you need to still, you know, tap into these things. Um, so take heed of signs um, to like level up your physical activity, to build the fortitude and resilience you need to withstand any pressures you are facing right now, either within this connection or within your personal life or career or anywhere else in your life right now. Um, strength will pull you through when faced with your greatest weaknesses. So you have a lot of inner strength. You can also look back on your life and see how much you've overcome, how much you've already dealt with and how far you have been able to transcend, right? So remember, you are stronger than you realize and you can look back into your life and see like all the things that you've been through, all the things that you've overcome, all the issues or the thoughts um, that you've been able to move through. Your determination here will get the job done. Your spiritual side is very, very strong as well. So you can always tap into that. You can tap into your guides, your connectors, your spirit guides, spiritual team, uh, your higher self for guidance at any time. It's all available to you. And also one last thought or one last message here is that also strength a sense of strength, a sense of purity comes from forgiveness. So that's just a message for those of you who are maybe tapping into something that you need to forgive your person or someone else in your life right now for whatever happened. You know, strength comes from forgiveness. Forgiveness is literally the antidote to the venom that we are injecting into ourselves just connecting to certain energies that are not meant to be a part of our reality anymore. So this is your guidance. Your strength is your strongest asset right now. So tap into that. Remember your strength, right? So remember Simba, remember yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your energy with me today, my darlings. I hope this was a beautiful little sprinkling of clarity and love into your day and into your life today. So thank you so much for your beautiful presence here. Um, if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading, all the information is down below. Patreon links are down below for additional videos if you want to check that out. So thank you so much for your presence. Love you guys so, so very much. Hope you have a beautiful day. All my blessings and all my love and I'll tap into you and see you again in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let me know how this video was for you down below. See you soon and bye. Namaste.